was glowing. I also accidentally roofied myself last night too, but I don't know if that's really relevant. Hi, I'm Chad Fair. I'm Anthony Tupasi. And this is Nerd Java, your daily dose of everything movies, television, and gaming. Today we're going to check out a new Netflix comedy series called God's Favorite Idiot. Yeah, so this is a great like eight part series where it's real quick, it's 20 seconds, or 20 seconds, 20 minutes per an episode. So you can you can plow through them pretty quick. Yep, yep. Um, but I do say great loosely. Mm -hmm. um, so the general storyline with this is uh, a tech support group, one of the characters in there, or one of the, the people that work in there, becomes called by God to be God's messenger. He gets glowing. He glows. Yeah, he literally glows. He literally yes. glows, right? Yes. That play, car, part is played by Ben Falcone. Yes. Uh, who is the husband of Melissa McCarthy. Those yes. are the main stars in this, right? He yeah. play, uh, she plays Amelie Luck. He's uh, Clark Thompson. Mm -hmm. And they work together and they kind of have a love affair. There's a little bit of love interest there's there. Some, there's some sweet, yeah. sweet action. Yeah. So it's, it's, in general, it's supposed to be comedy. Directed by uh, Michael McDonald, who is best known, at least for me, for his work on Mad Television. Yeah. But he's really funny. Yeah. So I, I had high hopes coming into the series. I, I did really too. thought it was going to be funny. I did too. I mean, he, he, he's a, he was a director. Uh, he went to the Groundlings. Yep. He's a comedy guy. Yep. Uh, one thing in comedy is you got to be fast, right? Yep. And this uh, is kind of disappointing because this show moves fast, but the scenes <laughs> do not. And that's the sad yes. thing is that they're so long and drawn out. And it's really about the two main characters. And when they finally bring in some characters that matter to, to have some development, They've already it's lost too late. It. It's too late. They've already right? lost yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and there, there is some humor in it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, anything with Melissa McCarthy, you expect there's going to be big laughs because Melissa McCarthy, yeah. she's funny. Yeah. The problem is her character doesn't really fit in the environment that they placed her in. True. Uh, it feels like they took Melissa McCarthy from the heat with Sandra Bullock and placed her in the office. And that's the horrible thing, right? Because right. Melissa McCarthy kind of just shines on her own. You don't need to tell her what to do, but she's like put in this box of like, okay, do as many fun, do, do Melissa McCarthy, do lots of that and be funny and, and mm -hmm. do and, and do insulting over and over. And you're like, wait, why couldn't you just be her? And right. Just live in that moment and just, and just ground herself. Mm -hmm. um, but comedy wise, Leslie Bibb as Satan. Yes, right? that There's, worked. That's that worked. pretty redeemable right there, right? Yes. Because she plays multiple characters to achieve her objective. And let me tell you, it's very creative if you get to watch this. So if, if any of you have seen American Housewives, she reminds me a lot of the character from American Housewives in the first two seasons. Sure. Uh, and it works. It works yeah. really, really well. Uh, she is one of, in my opinion, one of the few redeeming characters in the entire series. She's evil and she's funny at yes. the same time. You kind of like her and you're not supposed to. Yeah, you're not supposed to like say, <laughs> oh, no, no. At least for most folks. It's general. Um, yeah. So I, overall, though, I, I think if someone's going to watch this series, yeah. that you're, you're going to go into it. One, knowing that you're not going to have to put any brain power into it. Not much. Uh, it, it's really easy to binge. There's no brain power. Uh, but also go into it knowing that there is zero chance that Netflix is going to like re-up this for a second season. I don't know. I, mean, if, if I don't you, see it. If you could choose, could they do anything to make a season two that, would, that they could bring <laughs> this back? Is it just hopeless for you? For me, it's hopeless. I, I wouldn't even give it another shot. There's okay. no chance I would go back for a second cup with this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you wish they would have done more with the other characters? Or do you just not care? I, I didn't care. That's the yeah. thing is like they didn't make you really care about any of the characters. Yeah. The the one time you cared is uh, with the main character's dad. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a scene. I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but there's a scene later on. Most of you probably will not make it to that episode <laughs> if you start watching the series. Uh, but there's there's a part later on where you actually care about the dad a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's already like six episodes in. Yeah. Yeah. So you you that's the first time I felt like I actually cared about any of the characters. I think we both agree that it just took too long to yep. get to this thing, which is weird. Again, yep. comedy should be fast. Fast. Right? Yes. Yeah. Now I will admit I watched the full series. <laughs> yeah. It was really easy to watch. I think I watched it in maybe two sitting. Uh -huh. uh, because it's just like 20 minutes about per it's, episode. It's a quick, so it's real yeah, quick, quick episode. Real yeah. quick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> overall, though, yeah, I, I could not bring myself to come back and watch this again. Okay. So uh, let's, talk about <laughs> the, let's talk about the scale what we're going to do here. Yeah. So our rating scale, uh, anytime that we're going to be rating a movie, a TV show, anything like that, we're going to go by cups of coffee. Uh, so whenever I'm looking at this one, I would give this one a salad. Out of five cups of coffee, it gets one. All right, I'll, I'll be on the optimistic side because I do like Muslim McCarthy. Leslie the Bib did a great job. Yeah. Um, I'll give it a solid two. Um, I agree with you. I don't think there's a season two in this, mm -mm. Um, but what they did, they kind of did something in this show that made it somewhat funny and easy to watch. It's, it's really, 
it's good, like just dumb, awkward humor. Uh, if you want something like that that you don't have to think about, it's a decent watch. Uh, but like I said, I just don't see it happen for season two. All right, with that said. <laughs> All right, so if you enjoyed what you were watching today, please make sure that you hit the like below and subscribe. And on the comments, tell us what you think. Do you think there should be more to this show? Would you like to see more about the characters? Should there even be a season two? Let's have that discussion. Yeah, did you love it? Do you think we're idiots? Uh, and we should, we should have rated this thing a lot better? If yes. so, please say something below. All right, everybody. My name's Chad Fair. I'm Anthony Chapasi. And this is Nerd Java. Catch you all next time. Hey, y'all. My name is Chad Fair, and I'm one of the hosts of Nerd Java. Are you an independent or large studio movie or TV producer? We would love to review your work. Please reach out to us at this email right here, and we'll get back in touch with you. Also, be sure to like and subscribe before we take off from our video. There's a lot more Nerd Java coming your way.